Are you ready to paint your quilt in EQ8? Stay tuned for an in-depth look at the different paintbrush options this program has to offer. Coming right up. Hey everyone, Cynthia here in my quilt lab. As you may or may not know, I've been using EQ8 for several years now, so today's tutorial is going to go over those paintbrush tools found in the design tab of the work table. So I'm going to pull up a quilt first and I'm just going to go here to the quick quilt projects. I'm going to go down to log cabins and I'm going to select OK. And we're going to pick this guy right here. I think he's going to be a great work example. Uh, there's dozens of great quilt designs already in EQ8 that they've already made for you. Uh, they're easy to manipulate to fit to your size and color scheme, so be sure you check those out. And I could talk about those in a future uh, video if you're interested. Let me know in the comments below. Um, today, in this case, I'm going to showcase the different aspects of the paintbrush tool, and that's located under the Design tab, Fabric Tools Ribbon, and the paintbrush usually is defaulted as on when you go into this palette. You'll see underneath that uh, there are five, that's right, one, two, three, four, five different paint brushes. And if you hover over each one, a little pop-up box will say what it is and what it does. Uh, so the default is the one dot brush and it's just like it says, it's gonna do one dot brush at a time. So for instance, if I wanna change the, that pretty outer border to this beautiful purple, I can just one click each side and there you go, it's painted it for me. Now I'm going to show you a quick little feature. If I do, uh, there's that second board right there. If I hold the control key down while I hit that click, it did all of them. What, the, what EQ8 knows is that if, if they're all similar, it's going to do all of them. So for instance, if I do the control feature inside one of the blocks and I do this second one right here, so I'm going to hit control and then click, it's going to do all that same patch from each block. And it looks a little different because each of the blocks have been rotated, but this is the same patch as this one right here. Um, there is a secondary clicking uh, clicker. <laughs> Let me pick a different fabric. How about, so oh, let's do it's teal right here. The alternate key, if you hit the alternate key while you're clicking, it's going to alternate which ones get painted. So I got the alternate key and I'm going to hit that center block. So if I hit click, you'll notice that it alternated which ones it did. So every other one is what got painted. Let's do the other side to make it a little more obvious, something darker. So I'll put alternate here and it did the other ones. Cool little feature if you're looking to jazz up your uh, coloring. Uh, please note that all of these options, all five of these options will do the single click and paint option. It's just that the last four of these have an additional click and hold technique to engage their specific action. All right, so I got my fresh quilt right up and let's go to brush number two. This is the freehand brush. It went, it, like I said before, it is a, a click and drag feature or, or a click and hold technique to use this one. So as I'm taking the brush over, I'm gonna click and as I move the brush, you'll see that it's drawing a, a line wherever I move my mouse. And if I lift my finger up off of that right click, it's painted everything, every patch that that line went across. Um, unfortunately, there's no alternate or control features. This is what it does all the way across quick way to get a bunch of painting done without having to click or control hold a bunch of stuff. 
All right. So the third, the third one is called the line brush. Now it is very similar to that freehand brush. Only the difference is when I do a click and hold, that line is always going to be straight. It's, there's not going to be no curving in it whatsoever. So if I go just diagonal across this way and let go, it's going to only color the kit, the patches that that line went over. Now you notice it didn't, the line didn't go over these two patches, so it didn't color them. I can go straight down, and you notice it didn't get the side ones here because my line didn't go over it, so I, I didn't tell it to paint that. Uh, again, no control or alternate options with this icon. All right, let's move on to number four. This is the rectangle brush. So it draws a rectangle or a square just using that click and drag or click and hold technique. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put my paintbrush right here. I'm going to click, I'm going to hold. You'll see the line being drawn to make the square or the rectangle. And once I let go, it'll cover, it'll color every patch that the lines indicate. Now you'll notice it only covers where the lines are. It doesn't color inside the lines or outside the lines. There's no option for that. But it still is pretty cool because if you're looking for like a quick feature, that's pretty fun. All right. Last but not least is the circle brush. Now it's just like that rectangle, only instead of drawing a rectangle when you click and drag, it draws a circle. So let me do a quick little draw, and there's all of them that it was touching. Again, neither of these have a can uh, control or an option feature. It's just what it covers. It doesn't color inside, it doesn't color outside, it only co colors or paints what's what the line has actually drawn over. So let me just do a quick zoom in on one of these blocks so you can get a little bit closer look. And we'll do a quick. So here's the original. Just a click, 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 click. Let me erase them all. The free hand is of course the draw. You see that line? It's only going to color the blocks that line crosses. There it is. You see I missed two of them. Do a quick undo so that we can see the line. This is one that's just the straight line. So I'll just do those. Notice the line and what gets painted and what doesn't. There you go. The rectangle. I just did those four patches, and not to be outdone, we'll do the circle as well. Quick and easy way just to do that one half of the, the block. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial of all the aspects of paintbrush and the fabric tools of EQ8. If you have any questions about what I've covered today, or if you have a suggestion of a future video or tips and techniques that you'd like to see, please put that in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to them. If you found this video useful, please hit that thumbs up button and share it with your friends. And as always, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see you in my quilt lab. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.